Welcome to Pribhav IT Solutions. This video covers Q&A related to ServiceNow Xanadu release ITOM discovery features. You can pause video to read explanations. 1. What is the primary purpose of ITOM content service? A. To analyze event management data. B. To provide extensive visibility of products in your infrastructure. C. To optimize service desk operations. D. To generate financial reports. Answer. B. To provide extensive visibility of products in your infrastructure. 2. How often does IEOM Content Service deliver new configuration items, CIs? A. Daily. B. Weekly. C. Monthly. D. Annually. Answer. B. Weekly. 3. What role is required to configure the creation of CMDB underscore CI underscore Linux underscore server CIs for Kubernetes nodes? A. Admin. B. ITIL. C. None. D. Discovery underscore admin. Answer. C. None. 4. What type of CI created for each Kubernetes node using Informer by default? A. CMDB underscore CI underscore Windows underscore server. B. CMDB underscore underscore Linux underscore server. C. CMDB underscore CI underscore Kubernetes underscore node. D. CMDB underscore CI underscore Kubernetes underscore cluster. Answer. B. CMDB underscore CI underscore Linux underscore server. 5. Which tab in the Discovery Admin Workspace provides insights into discovery performance? A. Diagnostics tab. B. Schedules tab. C. Insights tab. D. Overview tab. Answer. C. Insights tab. 6. What type of data visualization helps troubleshoot discovery issues in the ECC queue load in admin workspace? A. Bar chart. B. Heat map. C. Trend line in ECC queue load. D. Pie chart. Answer. C. Trend line in ECC queue load. 7. Which roles requires to access discovery admin workspace? A. Service underscore mapping underscore admin. B. Admin. C. Discovery underscore admin. D. Discovery underscore user. Answer. B and C. Admin and discovery underscore admin. 8. Which products can be discovered using the November 2024 discovery and service mapping patterns release? A. Oracle database. B. Google Cloud Platform, GCP. Asset inventory. C. Salesforce applications. D. IBM mainframe systems. Answer. B. Google Cloud Platform, GCP. Asset Inventory. 9. How does IEOM Health monitor service availability? A. Through manual audits. B. Using Agent Client Collector. C. By generating financial reports. D. With CMDB manual entries. Answer. B. Using Agent Client Collector. 10. How is subscription usage calculated and displayed in IEOM licensing? A. Based on financial reports. B. Based on subscription units, SU. C. By manual configuration. D. By default server counts. Answer. B. Based on subscription units, SU. 11. What feature allows the creation of application services using automated service suggestions? A. MID server logs. B. CMDB-based mapping. C. Manual mapping. D. Shasm probe. Answer. B. CMDB-based mapping. 12. Which discovery method is integrated with the agent client collector? A. Event-driven discovery. B. Top-down service mapping. C. Network scan-based discovery. D. Application fingerprinting. Answer. B. Top-down service mapping. 13. What is the purpose of the AI-suggested application fingerprints feature in Discovery Admin Workspace? A. To update MID server settings. B. To suggest applications with fingerprints for discovery with pattern. C. To map incidents to configuration items. D. To monitor cloud resources. Answer. B. To suggest applications with fingerprints for discovery with pattern. 14. What feature in IEOM visibility supports multi-architecture Docker images? A. Helm chart. B's cloud native operations CNO version 3.9.0. C. Discovery Admin Workspace. D. CMDB Extensions. Answer. B. Cloud Native Operations CNO, version 3.9.0. 15. What is the role of the ECCQ in Discovery? A. 
to store financial reports. B, to monitor MID server tasks in the discovery process. C, to process incident logs. D, to calculate licensing usage. Answer, B, to monitor MID server tasks in the discovery process. 16, what is the key benefit of the Diagnostics tab in Discovery Admin Workspace? A, view license usage. B, troubleshoot discovery errors. C, generate financial reports. D, monitor service performance. Answer, B, troubleshoot discovery errors. 17, what plugin must be activated to access ITOM visibility features? A, metric intelligence plugin. B, ITOM visibility plugin. C, service mapping plugin. D, discovery plugin. Answer, C, D, discovery plugin with service mapping plugin. 18, what is one of the highlights of the Xanity release for ITOM visibility? A, enhanced financial reporting. B, improved discovery admin workspace. C's introduction of a manual tagging system. D, support for legacy systems only. Answer, B, improved discovery admin workspace. 19, which discovery admin workspace feature identify and resolve critical discovery tasks? A, discovery tuning advice. B, ECCQ load. C, discovery admin homepage. D, content service. Answer, C, discovery admin homepage. 20. How does IEOM visibility enhance the service mapping experience in the Xanadu release? A. By supporting financial forecasting. B. By integrating manual processes. C. By enabling CMDB-based application service mapping. D. By creating redundancies. Answer. C. By enabling CMDB-based application service mapping. 21. What is the role of service fingerprints in ITOM visibility? A. To track incident resolution times. B. To refine the selection of application service candidates. C. To monitor ECCQ performance. D. To store subscription details. Answer. B. To refine the selection of application service candidates. 22. What tool is used to compress MID server log files for better performance? A. AI-based compression algorithm. B. New log file handler settings. C. Helm chart configuration. D. CMDB diagnostic tools. Answer. B. New log file handler settings.